with the coats I make. Deadly with the coats I make. Deadly with the coats I make. MCs getting rocked. Show the grave. What's that money stack? Where the money in the hood stack? What's that money stack? Where the money in the hood stack? Holy shit, it's Tony Smith. Holy shit, it's Tony Smith. Holy shit, it's Tony Smith, and we in a different class. Good as your boy, uh, DFAFD. Don't flop all fucking day. We're here, summertime 2014, sunburn, borderline, make some fucking noise! Yeah. Don't flop at don't flop extra as well. Big up Bagnell on the cam, big up all the other uh, camera team and all the crew. We are here, first time ever using Borderline. It is Sunburn, the mega event of the summer. There's a couple people here that were at Summer Standard last summer, that was dope, but now it's Sunburn time. Make sure you hit us on the Twitter, that's at don't flop with a specific hashtag at Sunburn. That's gonna be on the screen right now. Make sure you like us on the Facebook and facebook.com slash don't flop one with the number one if you wanna find out about all the events. All right, MC number one of battle number one that I'm introducing from London. You know the fuck Fucking name, make some noise for Enigma, let's go! Yeah. Big up Ryan Square for the t shirt, him on Instagram, Twitter, all of that shit. Yes, and MC number two of battle number one on the left hand side, you also know the name, smashed his last solo battle, back for another one, make some noise for Locksmith, let's go! Yeah. Alright, make sure you log onto the forum and tweet us during the battle, leave a comment whenever you want. Uh, are we done the flip? Mm -hmm. Who's going first? Locksmith. That would have been good to decide that off camera. Yo, <laughs> battle number one, round number one is on Locksmith, let's go. Yo, George Kelly, you think you're ready? Nah, cause my performance deadly, so you're moving digi Like what they used to wear quarters, Henry's, you get slaughtered with technique Tortured, buried, left to rock, and your girl, everybody want a piece of that soul You better defend her better than send her, Ross you <laughs> You was having a wild time at Don't Flop, but now the adventure stops. You thought it was fine for acting foul. You're about to pay the penalty as I send you off. <laughs> this should be April the 23rd, not a normal stage. You should have horses, blades, dragons you've killed, stored away. People who support the brave in all remains car. I'm about to make you a martyr. And this St. George's Day. <laughs> Mix because it isn't kosher. You get <laughs> when we meet, how dare we mix because it isn't kosher. You get slaughtered in the correct manner because you're the type of racist prick to try and take a shit on my culture. So when you see me, don't spud me because we ain't similar, soldier. But at least that potato shaped head explains the chip on your shoulder. <laughs> You got a little chin, big cheeks, and a big forehead. I saw you can kick ball more or less. Well, George Best, act like George Best, get his Man United car. You're about to get caught in my vortex. Whack rappers, you're next. I want your next. Forty win, poor guess. I'm a sure bet, like a three-legged horse in a race with a Corvette. Yeah. When I look at your hand, it seems terribly feeble. So if your punches don't land, it's because you have fingers and hands like Jeremy Beadles. <laughs> And Enigma is a stupid name. Between her and the rest of the team, you've been framed, reduced to shame. Car, I'm as good as Liam Ad Badner with the angles as he zooms and aims. Ah, mm. oh, I'm graphic, but get flyer than images produced by Sam. You couldn't see my level if you had glasses used by a more Kruger's cam. Before this, you was a dope flop super fan. So, if you can't serve or handle Smith, it's cause you got the butler and scary movies hands. <laughs> <laughs> My words are weapons, huh? Bow! Shoot him down using rounds and these punches and these punches are like stewards. They'll have you removed from grounds. <laughs> In every battle I've seen featuring Kelly, it seems he has a chick's voice that makes a high pitch noise or that of a kid's turn when you're squeezing a belly. <laughs> Your punches wouldn't affect me if I got one in the jaw. And I don't need four men in your grill to drop you on the floor. They're screaming boom by eight. I'm the one the hundreds will support. Guys, it's the rumble in the jungle. It's Muhammad versus George. <laughs> You said that stuff about my girl. Was that meant to be a cuss? 
everyone here wants to be with a girl I'm marrying and don't get to fuck. <laughs> but you fucked up, whatever. Also, you said I'm racist. You said I'm racist. That's not true. I see all people as equal. Black, white, Chinese, I don't discriminate. I literally hate all fucking people. <laughs> and yo, fuck this guy. I know for a fact he's a liar. He's the kind to eat pussy and be like, no, I don't do that. Black man don't eat vagina. <laughs> And on Twitter, he eats all the time. Okay. Yo. Okay. Alright, yeah, me, I eat pussy all the time. And yo, on Twitter, on Twitter it was like, if people don't react to my punches, I'm gonna have to turn this into some math disaster type punchlines. Acting like you hit the hardest. I read that thinking, that shit's retarded. Then again, you are an arrogant sucker who's known for having punches that rarely hit their targets. Cause you wanna chat shit and act like you're killing them, but you're fake like raw silicon. Try and sneak up on my block and I'll rock your door with that George Zimmerman. But, but no, no. If we actually fought, you come at me saying you stick a fork in my chin, I'll be quiet. But when you're gone, I'll be talking again. <laughs> So you can rap about how you're the deepest to leave scouts in pieces swinging round on your cleavers like you're down with the reapers. But remember this, those who are loudest are weakest. Cause you're, cause you're past the age of 30 and still bragging about being a rebel. Real rebels don't need to brag. They don't do it for the praise, they rebel for a reason. You're like one of these Facebook politicians. Posting up memes they think they agree with cause you don't actually understand what you believe in. Cause all you do is talk this bullshit about how you're spending all this wealth. You're such a fucking arrogant faggot, you probably take pictures in the mirror and send them to yourself. <laughs> Smith, there's nothing I can't unlock. Motherfucker, you're so dumb you probably couldn't even open a lunchbox. Yo, I feel bad for this pilgrim because he's an actual victim. Every day growing up in his household was Black History Month because all his fucking stepdaddies whipped him. And yo, I mean, I mean, how many, how many stepdads you have? Five, ten, fifteen? You practically lived as an orphan, living in an awkward, lonely home because your mum was such a tortured, broken hoe. You had more potential father than a fucking Maury Povich show. <laughs> That explains why your bars are shallow. You're overcompensating every time you cast that arrow because inside you're just a lonely little boy chasing your absent father's shadow. Yo, and you're so old, every time you talk about hip hop, you're hip hops. <laughs> I mean, you're so old, I'm surprised that beer's not great. How the fuck are you gonna show up to a battle looking like fucking 42 years a slave? <laughs> yo. And yo. I'm like locksmith at the gym. I'm known for setting that bar low. You can't. <laughs> that wasn't the punchline. <laughs> Yo, don't act shocked. I'm like locksmith at the gym. I'm known for setting that bar low. You kind of look like the inside of my asshole. And, yo, and the thing is... Yeah. Anyway, yo, and the thing is, you were moaning on Twitter about my race bars, talk, calling me a racist youth, acting like the race angle was irrelevant, forgetting that against Joker Star, you and Tony D were hating on his melanin, so you can take this battle as a fucking taste of your own medicine. <laughs> Yo, you're an attention whore, a clown who walks around and only talks about because you said you'd rather stick your dick in your daughter's mouth. <laughs> How far will you go to get applause from crowds? You planted that seed, that's dirt and needs to be watered down. So before you say some more rude shit, close your two lips. It's time I rose and grew big in this music I perform a rap. All kids die in this battle ring if you're a fawn in my side. <laughs> I'm ready for war like bushes, it's that time, this whole line's mine, so don't step hard, my bars go off like line mines when I line mine and when it's spice time, my lines are usually dumb, so this hand of God I use for some, I see me on a move like Maradona against England, I'm on a stupid run. Let's assess how much of a prick you are. Every poor trail in your tales is a big facade. You went on dating in the dark and working Clinton cards. 
Fuck the same. They're in, <laughs> wait, they're in awe of me, because I bring them bars, and I'm built for this rowing like Matthew Pinson's arms. <laughs> so before you get, go overboard and get too racist, understand that I may switch. But why the fuck are you racist when you got mixed race kids and a mixed race chick? <laughs> Against Peace Soldier, you was on the same tip. So this victories for all my brothers slain on the slave ship, mm. tossed overboard naked, and slave master father, I hope your kids don't go through the same shit that see my generation tainted. <laughs> hey, listen, you fucking rap. And in them slavery days, them kids of yours are mixed, not pure. So for hitting the sister raw, you would have a kid like Chicken George. <laughs> All your bars instant pause, and cause you like cockfighting so much, your son's gonna grow up a Chicken George. <laughs> Instead of being racist in the bars that you spit, teach your kids that being black has its advantages. So teach them their family tree, every branch of it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you got metaphors and deadly speech. You're getting bros that fellas need to tell us, please, how the fuck have you joined Genevieve? But you still won't get respect from me, so let it be. Yesterday, all your troubles seemed so far away, but then you met with me, so accept defeat. I could be tall, but that's not what Smith's about. I'd rather get high out events, get twist and shout. You couldn't spend a day in my life without thinking Smith the geezer, smoking splits with fellow dealers, scheming on the P for a yellow submariner. George, you're a side man with Lennon, you can't compete, bruv. And I heard you're engaged, so I can take your bimbo tart and make the Ringo star. And in this, <laughs> and in this battle zone, man is known. You got holes in your material, George, shabby clothes. And lots, even though I flopped, got more strapped than the zebra crossing on Abbey Road. <laughs> You said that you could fuck my fiance. You have more chance of fucking Beyonce. <laughs> she, she's not attracted to the kind of guys that say mandem. And just cause you just cause you talk about how you load up the Mac 10 does not mean you know how to Mac 10s. So in those last two rounds, you did a bunch of sports references. Fucking hell. I haven't heard anyone do that many football bars since double L. <laughs> anyway, oh, and um, you call me an attention whore. He's the kind of guy who brags about going to court. If I'm an attention seeker, by seeking this battle, you're just seeking the attention I already caught. So you're basically an attention seeker seeker. So, so fuck that guy. He seeks secondhand attention like a contact high. Mm. Yo. And you, you're one of these guys who tries to act like they're original, like their lyrics set precedence. But you just took that daughter bar and twisted out of context to give it some relevance. But I swear your mum must have been drinking for her pregnancy because it's known to inhibit development and limit intelligence. And, and yo, because the fact is how many times do I have to say that shit? It was just a line I did for laughter. Only a dumb motherfucker like you could think five seconds from a battle would define me as a father. And yo, you know when you got that fucking hot chick you wanna fuck? And you got some fucking fat rusty friend? So you get your wingman to bring her over to the bar? Well that's kinda like you and Tony. Cause people only fuck with you to get closer to the star. Yo. And your words are like bullets. Cause every time you spit, feels like it took three in the ear. You're the ninja of the rap world, because nobody here has ever seen your career. <laughs> yo, I'm, I'm Lock Smith. Fuck a government name. You act like your name was generated by a random government computer and a fixed at birth when you hit this earth. But it was given to you by your mum. So every time you disregard your name, you're just disrespecting her. Because you think you're Jay-Z, like you're dropping hot tracks and top raps to swear and rock the nation. The fact is you're a whack activist fag who actively raps about attacks with blaze to foster hatred. You want that fat cash and stack of raps and a bank of change to stop your basement, but I swear this man's drinking, cause the closest he'll ever get to a black Lincoln is when reading about the Emancipation Proclamation. <laughs> yo, yo, so you can rap about, remember what I said to your wife, I'm the best with a knife, punch you dead in a fight, cut off your head in a night, but all that shows is that you have no depth to your life, you're just the product of a white manufactured stereotype. See, cause whenever you come to an event, it's like you're always getting involved in commotions. It's like you automatically go through the motions and punches are thrown and noses are broken, but fighting doesn't make you tough. It makes you out of control, and it's only fucking bitches who can't control their emotions. And yo, this is how the powers that be want you to act. What? 
Oh, you're pointing at me. Right. I thought you were just saying you like me. It's cool, cool. Yeah, <laughs> this is how the powers that be want you to act. They divide and conquer, so the oaths of civil unrest and racial tension. But I'm about to teach you an amazing lesson. Violence is the tool of the weak, your mind is your greatest weapon. So you need to sharpen it and turn it back on those who oppress you, but you're too fucking busy trying to impress dudes. So every time you talk about how you'll pop in a clip and knock out a prick and hollow a bitch, you're basically jerking that corporate party line and swallowing dick because you think you're unique. But you're just a sheep whose actions are predetermined and directed as you follow their script. So you can encapsulate a chapter and page of actual rage like all these waste men, but all that proves is that you're a beast who's captured and trapped in a cage of your own creation. And yo, you can rebuttal that whole round. Tell me you're not a stereotype. That's fucking weak. Next you'll be telling me you don't like chicken. Nugget, please. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Little Georgie Kelly is divorced already. Married over before he saw confetti. Like he was a driver in a Porsche Bentley. Cause she took the kids' house ring and of course the telly. <laughs> Your first wife left cause the nerds buy it. And I heard she was the worst type of dirt grime. Kind to get a captain fish fingers when you stick them in the bird's eye. <laughs> And you diss people that hustle, cause you are a pussy and never had the reason to. <laughs> but you wouldn't survive in the jungle, you need a zoo. Or at least Baloo and Mowgli to lead and teach you through. You get mesmerized by the snake size. Tiger see you as a piece of food. So George, let me speak to you. Life ain't as animated as you seem to move. You ain't got one, you need a clue. Drop the facade, be a father figure. Te feed your youths and teach them their roots. And maybe the little monkeys can learn to be like someone like you. <laughs> You struggle with the man inside, prick. So Genevieve, you're dealing with a man, not with a side bit, but with an inside bitch. You ain't a masculine hybrid, just erratic and high pitch. That overactive hype chick inside definitely knows. She wants a presence to be felt, so she's letting me know. You come across way too feminine, bro. So it's time to release the demon that possesses your soul like the exorcism of Emily Rose. <laughs> and you believe you can fly, but you aren't ready. And you said to me, after too many large bevies, you lick your girl's toes, arse and G-spot. Use your tongue as a butt plug when the arse smelly. So this menace took a sketch. Yeah, so this menace took a sketch from another artist pad. Not cause my craft's messy, it's cause I bet you even piss on her too. I know who you are, Kelly. <laughs> You wasn't having sex with no girls. Struggle to get them back to the hotel. And you say you're straight, but I'm pretty sure you like the best of both worlds. <laughs> so, if I had to be honest, I'd say Enigma was trapped in the closet. And your team wanted to tap it for the longest. She looks buff but grime. I just want to bump and grind. AJ, nothing but a number. I just want to show where the feeling she's been missing. So Genevieve, really you should listen. You ain't the world's greatest, but I know a few decent positions. I recently been wishing you will ride the BMW or let me stick the key in your ignition. <laughs> Tweet me your decision. <laughs> now, if she's looking flex and not looking pressed, it's because what's coming next is a woman's threat. In an Instagram post, you declared, if you could turn back the hands of time, enough of the R. Kelly usage there, you'd still be confused and scared. No tats, no confidence, no booze, no bed, just a reclusive square, abused and weird. Me, I never changed, just advancing through the years. Well, you just come to this stage with an image that you prepared. Uh, Ooh. They dreadlock off the top because what I'm coming with twisted. And judges, I've won if you have listened, and I better get the fucking decision because there's got to be a price to pay for acting fake here, so it's nothing to split his wig and so uncomfortably win it. Yo, you just spent. <coughs> Three rounds talking about my girl while she was rapping. I get it, you wanna fuck her? Nope. Not gonna happen. <laughs> I mean, that is dumb. This is a battle rap, not motherfucking match.com. <laughs> and yo. Or dating in the dark. Or dating in the dark when I was dating with a dog. <laughs> Alright, cool, yeah, so. He, he likes to. He likes to act. Like
Like he gets models and sluts, but Locke is corrupt. The only way he gets pussy is because he's the type to spend five grand on a night out popping bottles in clubs. He's that fucking idiot in VIP like, but I don't pee ladies. <laughs> <laughs> but all you say is a pack of lies So you need to quit acting like your magic mic Cause you can tell people you draw honeys back to your pad at night to smash their pipes But motherfucker that ain't right You don't draw in honeys like an attractive guy You put down honey traps for those fucking slags and attract the flies <laughs> Yo. Plus you're always trying to catch some hype So whilst Tony D smashes guys with acid lines Four foot and talented like one of the Jackson Five <laughs> <laughs> Four foot and tatted like one of her Jackson 5. You're just that fucking stupid overreaction guy. Like, oh, prime beer everywhere. <laughs> Yo. You wanna act like you're the hardest spitter. Been killing the game since a harmless nipper. But let me unmask the picture. First off, your bars are litter. Secondly, you're a fucking disrespectful, arrogant cunt who clearly lacked a father figure. Because it leads, let me get around to this saga. Er kicked you off stage for throwing beer on Charlie Clips. You practically drowned him in lager. And you stormed off like, Fuck Rowan, he's a slick snake with shit traits, he's gonna get pounded to plaster Gonna display the wrist day cause you twist spray every which way and hollow him out with the blaster Pull out a six way switchblade and fade him out like a barber Gonna make his ribs ache when you bring hate but that shit's lame and all I heard was the sound of a martyr Cause now here you are once again on his stage, on his day, spitting his way Which just means you're a shit fake bitch made thick slave who bowed down to his master <laughs> Fucking dickhead. I bet her wishes he never met you. He released your EP on Don't Flop and then you acted like a fucking dog and tried to bite the hand that fed you. Cause that's what you are. Just a big dumb dog. Always barking and playing rough until it's late. Then jumping up to the table to eat off someone else's plate. Ate off Tony D, E and D, Don't Flop. You're just eating and eating but never putting anything back in. You're like that guy who munches pussy all night long and doesn't end up smashing. <laughs> Yo. You're just, a, you're just a poison ink in a pen that Tony picked up Cause the moment he wrote with you his career went tits up Just remember, you're a replacement, you're not his top partner He went from rapping with Doc Brown to rapping with Doc Darker and, yo, Cause you'll never, you'll never make it in this game No matter how much you hang off the tip of hip hop's dick Just accept the fact that the locks will never need a locksmith Cause you might have had some views back in the day But you need to stop with the history Motherfucker called himself locksmith and can't even break the lock on the industry So you can talk about how I'm the best there will be, no one can ever compete But you'll never break into rap's Premier League So next time, instead of asking your crew to select you a beat Why don't you go ask DJ Bones to give you his motherfucking skeleton key? And yo, you're the human form of a sexual disease <laughs> Plus you got elephant teeth And I don't know if anyone told you this But you look exactly like that motherfucker Grover from Sesame Street And yo, you're, you're a low tier rapper you're not, you're not getting any higher you're the fucking reason we're at the bottom of the flyer. Yeah. I know you thought you were going to win this, but if you lose, I know exactly what this prick will do. He'll run straight to Twitter to complain, because this is exactly what a fucking bitch would do. Time. Yo, that's that one. Make some noise for Nick and Lux with people. Yo, what's good? Don't flop all fucking day. You know the score. We're here at Sunburn. Make sure you tweet us all your opinions of that battle at Don't Flop. Hashtag Sunburn. It was battle number one of the weekend. My dude Locksmith going up against my dude Enigma. But the first dude picking up a unanimous win of the day is the guy on the right, Enigma. Make some noise. <laughs> Running weed and popping ease because you look like a fucking fiend. And now you want to try and trouble teeth. Well, come, my G. Because from you see my dogs itch. Fucking flee, Commander Star. Yes. From you see my dogs itch. Fucking flee, Commander Star. Licking that biscuit like Marlow and Shuffle T. <laughs>